All right, Chris here. Gonna do a little demo with the new Toshiba air fryer. Just was gonna show you what I'm making. Um, I tend to eat pretty healthy, so I make a lot of vegetables in our air fryer. Like I mentioned before, this is our old air fryer, Cuisinart, and here's the new one, the Toshiba. Um, but I do a lot of vegetables. So here we've just got a lot of onions, bell peppers, zucchini, just all chopped up and then sprayed with a little bit of avocado oil and then uh, seasoned with some everything bagel seasoning and some Parmesan cheese. So I made sure to uh, spray down the basket with uh, canola oil is what I used. And I made sure to spray down the inside of the tray. There's a removable tray in there and I think it's just a good idea to spray that too because those things get really dirty and if it's sprayed a little bit it might be okay. I went ahead and preheated it for uh, two minutes at 400 degrees. One thing I noticed is the max temperature on this is 400 degrees so um, it's a little different on my Cuisinart it was uh, 450. I don't know that that's going to make a difference. A lot of times I was cooking or air frying at about 425. So instead I'll be doing it 400. Uh, with vegetables like this, a lot of times what I did was about 10 minutes and then pulled them out and tossed them a bit with uh, tongs. So that's the same thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and do 10 minutes at 400 on air fry, pull them out, toss them with the tongs. So um, you know, some people preheat, some people don't. It's kind of up to you whether you think that matters. So since it's preheated, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And then I'm going to take this back down to one. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select my thermo or my um, time. Whoop. And this we're going to back down all the way to 10 or 954 in this case. And I'll go ahead and start it. So we're good to start. Pull it open. I can hear it going. And I'm going to head stick the tray in here on top of that rack. You don't necessarily have to do it on top of the rack. You could do it directly on top of the tray. But I just figured if there's more air circulating around it, the better it can be. So the rack has it a little elevated above the tray, even more than it would be from the feet of the basket. So that's what we're going to do here. Get that closed up. Like I said, give it, you know, nine and a half more minutes, take it out and toss it, put it back in if I need to, and then I will show you the finished product. So again, it's the Toshiba air fryer, and I'm just going to kind of make comparisons versus our old Cuisinart and let you know um, what I see as differences. And if anyone's watching and wondering what's going on, this is our garage kitchen Well, our uh, kitchen is being remodeled. So that's why this is a weird setup. All right, so we're all done here. I did uh, 10 minutes and then tossed it and did 10 more minutes at uh, 400 degrees. And it looks like it turned out pretty good. I took a little sample. Um, some of you may want it a little crispier, so you may want to go a little longer. But it definitely, you know, functioned as it should. So that is nice. And, you know, so far it was easy to use. So this was the first time. We'll see as it goes. I'll try to use it every day for about a week before I do a review. Again, it's that Toshiba air fryer right there. Thanks.